So when should you quit your job? I hear this all the time. Like people, they want to get into real estate because they want to build the cash flow so that they can quit their job. Because some people just frankly have jobs that they hate, right? And they figure if I can do this and generate income, it's better for me. Um, and then there's people in the camp of, you know, I don't hate my job. It produces a good income. Why should I quit it? Um, or when is the right time to quit that job? So you and I both are full-time investors now, but we got there different. We both decided to go full-time at different times. For me, I chose to go full-time when it didn't make financial sense for me to stay at my job. Like I didn't quit until it cost me money to work at my job because they wanted me to put more time in. And then I did the math on what I make on my own per hour mm -hmm. versus what they are paying me per hour. Right. And it didn't make any sense for me to go work for that hourly rate when I can work for my own hourly rate. That was more, but you quit different. How did you, when did you quit? Um, <laughs> I quit, I quit when I was fed up. So I was, I was working the nine to five in the grind and I was looking at that two and a half, three percent 3% raise every year thinking, I, I'm, I'm worth more than this. Yeah. I can do better work than this. And so uh, I don't recommend the way that I did it. <laughs> if you would have asked me when should someone do it, I'd give that politician answer. It depends. For me, you know, it was cold turkey. I got, I got a raise, yeah. 2.5%. And, you know, I was doing great at my job. That's what they told me. But I just thought, no, this, is, uh, this isn't it for me. So, it, yeah, I took a big risk. I had kind of a landing pad. I knew I could go for so long, and I just thought, we're just going to try it and yeah. go for it. Because worst case scenario, you know, the, the, there's plenty of jobs out there. Yeah. There are. And so I thought, I'll give this six months, and if I fall flat on my face, I'll be right back here in six months. No big yeah. deal. Yeah. So took the risk, took the plunge. and How many know. deals had you done before you quit? Officially three, mm -hmm. but they were deals like I house hacked a duplex, you know, yeah. fix it up myself, rented it, uh, bought a house to flip, moved in, actually wholesaled a couple. So I guess four. Yeah. Yeah. Four. yeah. I had done several hundred deals before yeah. I quit. <laughs> so uh, all this to say, right, there's no perfect answer. Right. But we both did it in a way where it felt safe to us. For you, you had enough cushion for six mm -hmm. months to be able to say, I can try this for six months mm -hmm. and avoid to take care of my family. And mm -hmm. if after six months I, I, I fall on my face, you can go get another job, right? So you saved up enough to know that you could take that leap. You didn't just blindly say, I now have no money and I will go figure out no, no, how to go make No, no, no. Well, it wasn't right? blind either because I'd yeah. done it before part-time. Yeah. You know, I'd invested part-time, sent out some mailers, flipped a house, wholesaled a few, yeah. and I thought, okay, I've proven myself I can do this. So you had proof of concept? Yes. Okay. Didn't know, now again, jumping in, it was a completely different beast than the first time I did it, but I yeah. thought, well, if I'll, I'll just scale that up. Yeah. And the other thing of burning the ships, of leaving a job, that kind of I kind of had that behind me, like, I gotta make this work. Because about yeah. three months in, I really did not want to go back to yeah. a nine to five. Yeah. So, I, I think yeah. doing it the way you did it forces you to have a mindset of I'm going to be successful because there's no other option. You know, going the route that I went, you don't necessarily have to have that mindset because you've got your job to fall back on. So you've got to force that mindset where and the method that I took and the method that you took ain't, ain't no other option. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no other yeah. Option. Now, no, I think that's super cool. So people, there's no perfect answer to this but you do want to make sure you're safe. Mm. Don't just quit a job and not have any income to live off of, hoping that you'll learn how to flip a house real quick and make cash. It doesn't work like that. Um, but you don't have to follow some specific blueprint with when you decide to leave your job. You want to do it in the time that you feel is right, and that's going to force you to have the motivation that you feel like you need.